Hey friends, today is our second stop on our epic Disney World Resort hopping staycation. We left the Wilderness Lodge and now we are checked in at our next resort and I think you're gonna like it. So, let's go do this. Normally I would start outside but it's a little rainy out. But can you take a guess where we're staying tonight? Oh yeah, Bay Lake Tower theme park view. I am so excited. Look at that castle. And I just realized I don't need to be wearing my mask. I'm on my own balcony. But like I said, normally I would start on the outside, but it's been a very rainy day. So I decided what better place to start than probably the best balcony I have been on yet. There are three different things that make this the best balcony. Number one, those chairs are comfortable. Number two, I like how they have this closed off. And number three, that view. Oh yeah, look at, we get Space Mountain, Cinderella's Castle, the monorail, and even the contemporary. I am so excited to watch the sunset here. The only issue with that being, we need to get all this gloomy weather to kind of scoot away. It's starting to peak over there and I'm seeing light at the end of the tunnel, but I need it over here. I need it at the Magic Kingdom. If you can just look yonder over the contemporary there, you can see it's starting to actually clear up a little bit. So hopefully by the time it reaches over here, it'll be sunset time and we're going to have an amazing view. In the meantime, I decided to take a step back out of the room and give you the grand tour because I absolutely love this room. First thing to point out that I think is amazing is the hallway rug. Look at all those hidden Mickeys. And then look at the entrance to your room. This is some classy stuff here. So let's get inside. Thank you. Can we just point out that as soon as you walk in this door, your straight shot view is Cinderella's castle. Like seriously, door, castle. That is amazing. And that's not all because there are also some other things in this room that make it a lot different than the other resorts I've stayed at. Number one being instead of having kind of like this area as a little kitchen area with your sink and stuff, it's kind of like you have your own kitchen like an apartment would. This is pretty amazing stuff right here. Look at this. We got our sink and a coffee mug, a microwave, a toaster, the fridge, fully stocked, and countless amounts of storage. Like this is insane. Look at this thing. Ooh, <laughs> I see me. And then to the left of your kitchen, we have one of those fancy doors that slides and this leads into the bathroom. Ooh, take a look at that. And it's a nice little cozy bathroom. Oh, I like these lightings. Very bright. Hello. And then in the sleeping area, take a look at the art on the walls. Oh man, I want this. And I want those. This is amazing stuff right here. And I'm listening to the resort TV and it's playing Go The Distance, one of my all-time favorite Disney songs. I will find my way, I can go the distance. The actual TV entertainment center is doubled as a dresser and it's got some fancy doors. Look at this. I really like it. Can you, can you tell that I'm a little excited? Like, I, I, I am. I'm very, very excited. The table is nice. I like the mirror and also the couch area itself. I mean, it's a little leather couch, but no, it's not leather. I don't know what that is. I like it though. But honestly, I'm probably just going to be enjoying the patio this whole entire time. I mean, this is just phenomenal. I am so excited to be here. I know I've said that probably two or three times, but you know, sometimes you just ramble on and you need things to say, so you express out how excited you are. <laughs> so my plan is to sit out here, watch the sunset, and actually enjoy the views of the Magic Kingdom, and then explore around the resort a little bit. 
but because Bay Lake Tower is facing Bay Lake and this is a theme park view, it's facing the Magic Kingdom, we're not going to be able to do a sunrise video tomorrow because there is no sunrise over here. The sunrise actually rises behind us. So like when it gets above to the highest point, it's going to be directly above us. So we're going to focus on a sunset. But don't you worry because I feel a sunrise at Bay Lake Tower is in the works. And like I said, there may be hope that this is going to clear up and it's going to be a beautiful sunset. Maybe even a rainbow. I got high expectations. I always want the best, but that would be amazing. A sunset rainbow? That I could do. Not even sure if a sunset rainbow is a thing or if it's actually possible, but regardless, I'm excited. Ooh, and I'm also wearing my contemporary monorail shirt. I put this on just for this day. I love this shirt. Probably my new favorite shirt. We're gonna be staring at monorails all night. This is so awesome. That was absolutely amazing. The skies didn't clear up, but it didn't matter because it literally was beautiful. Me just sitting out there for two hours was probably the highlight of my day, or week actually. I just thoroughly enjoy capturing the moment on camera and like also kind of experiencing it. Well, of course, experiencing it myself, but this was fantastic. I absolutely love this balcony. I love this view. I'm like a little sweaty because it was a little hot out there, but oh man. Now we're going to actually just uh, go about the resort and explore a little bit of it. I'm excited to show you. Also, it's important to point out that the Polynesian is still king of the pillows. King of the pillows, but they definitely won king of the art. I'm sorry I'm seeing everything kind of backwards, but that rainstorm really threw me off. Anywho's, we're staying at Bay Lake. This is the contemporary. I did request the highest floor possible, and the highest they can go for me was the ninth. And there is, I think, 16 floors. Yeah, 16 floors at Bay Lake Tower. So you can go pretty high up. I really liked my view though, because I was right in line with the monorail track and I still got a clear view of Magic Kingdom. So the ninth floor is actually a very good floor. If you're familiar with Bay Lake, they actually have a top of the world lounge here. That's not open at the moment. Look at all these beautiful pictures though. Wait till we get down to the lobby. I'm gonna show you some good stuff. I think every single floor has a different art piece. This is the first floor and that's just magical. If these end up coming for sale anywhere, I definitely gotta get one. Because Bay Lake Tower is a part of the contemporary, all of the food and merchandise locations is actually over there. And you have a connection bridge that I'll probably show you later. But since we're here in the tower, I wanted to show you some of the offerings they have right here. This is the main lobby area, and you're greeted with these amazing castle pictures on both sides too. Let me point that out. 
and then the lobby itself is just like a regular lobby I mean it's not like a gigantic one you would see in Animal Kingdom Lodge but it's very cool the furniture I don't know about this it's solid wood outside they have a pretty fancy pool fountain and bar area and we're gonna check out all that but actually the fountain here is one of my favorites I'm not even sure why it just stands out to me as a nifty little fountain we're gonna see if the pool lounge is open I know the pool's open because I can see people swimming in it but I don't know about the lounge a look at the water slide without showing people swimming in the pool it's very awesome and it's got that awesome Mickey right there too unfortunately the cold bar isn't open at the moment and that's because of the rain but they do have something going that i haven't seen at any other resort yet they got the fire going and this is a beautiful fire pit very awesome to just hang out here these chairs look very comfortable no other resort has had fire going that i've been to so far this is the first time i've seen one and i always love coming here because they always do s'mores i'm sure they're not doing that right now take a look at the resort from the fire pit area isn't it massive this is such a huge resort and since the pool area or the pool bar is closed we're gonna head back up to the fourth floor i believe and take the bridge over to the contemporary maybe check out the contempo cafe they got a sandwich there that i really really enjoy oh my apologies the skyway bridge is on the fifth, fifth floor. floor thank you Going down. oh look at that picture I need it. Oh man, I really want that. I feel like they're missing an opportunity not having like a little art shop where you can buy all these amazing prints. I would buy them all. And here's the walkway that I was talking about. Fancy doors. Holy moly. I wonder if these ones are going to do it too. Oh, very fancy. I absolutely love the contemporary one of these days I'm actually gonna stay in this resort I love Bay Lake too but one day the contemporary is definitely gonna be on my list and like I said we're gonna eat at the Contempo cafe I've eaten at the wave and the California Grill recently so I figured this is a good spot but take a look at these desserts holy moly a peanut butter pie tart they have some really good stuff here cookies and cream is that like a monorail Oh man, I might have to get a dessert and a sandwich. And just like most of the actual restaurants, everything is mobile order, but I have some very sad news right now because they don't have my sandwich that I like to get here. They usually have this beef steak sandwich that is phenomenal, but it's not available. If you guys plan on coming down here, make sure you know that some of your favorite stuff isn't actually gonna be there. So I guess maybe I'll go with the meat lovers flatbread. That sounds pretty good. Fresh rolled pizza dough. Ooh. So we're gonna order that. I'll take it. Thank you. And here is my flat bread. Ooh, it's looking really good, isn't it? Actually, I'm excited to try this. But also, I did get the peanut butter tart. I had to. Absolutely had to. And I'm kind of shocked because this is like a fresh dough pizza. Yeah, it really is. So we're gonna go. actually really really good the only thing is is it's not very saucy it's not very saucy you're not saucy <laughs> so what I actually did is I went up and I got a side of pizza sauce and they gave it to me and I just put it on top and now I can't complain it's a great flatbread this is really good but enough of that flatbread let's get down to business and when I mean business I mean peanut butter business the thing though with the tarts is they're very hard to cut so we're gonna try to get it so that it comes apart very easily up oh, there we go and a little bit of tart perfect peanut butter first though definitely I was a little shocked because if you see right here in the middle they actually have like a little vanilla custard so this is the peanut butter part and then this is the tart and the crust part, but I wasn't expecting that. And that is amazing altogether. 
that was absolutely amazing. I'm so happy that I decided to come over here. Even though I want to get my beefsteak sandwich, this was a very pleasurable experience. But also look at the sleeping monorail inside the Contemporary. Just sleeping, doing its thing. I love it. But for now, let's head back up to our room and check on the castle. Make sure it's doing okay, you know? Look at the beautiful view of Bay Lake as we walk back over to Bay Lake Tower. I love it. Oh, you can see the Orlando Eye from here. Look out, fancy doors coming in. I might be intrigued to stop and see all the nifty art on seventh each level. Floor. So we got the seventh floor art. Going. Oh, it looks like Cinderella. I like it. Eighth floor. <laughs> Going. Daisy. Very nice. Oh, we're on the ninth floor. We've already seen the ninth floor, so we're gonna go to the tenth floor. Tenth floor. Snow mm -hmm. White. Now let's do the eleventh and the twelfth. Oh, won't let us go any higher. Looks like the eleventh, twelfth, fourth, and fifteenth, and sixteenth is closed off. So back down to the ninth. Ninth floor. And there she is. Looks like everything's under control. And with that, I think I'm done for the night. I'm sorry I'm not going to be doing a sunrise video tomorrow. Uh, like I said, uh, spoiler alert, we will be back at Bay Lake Tower. And we're going to be staying lakeside. So we're going to be able to capture that sunrise pretty amazingly. I'm very excited for that. Tonight was more about the sunset. And I absolutely love that. Even though the weather was a little gloomy, it doesn't matter. Honestly, I loved every single minute of it. You have to make the best of every situation that you're in. That's just what life's all about. Anywho's, thank you so much to the Cole family. You guys made it possible for me to stay here tonight and I am forever grateful. Like, absolutely. It is unbelievable. And I feel just so honored that people think of me when it comes to their DVC points and them going to waste and just for them to be able to say, hey, would you like to stay? Like, I feel like honored. I really do. So that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you uh, next time or at the next resort. Good night.